Hello my lovelies, it's Veronica and today I bring you the finale of Pandlet Palette for 2017. Now my palette for 2018 has been chosen, so stay tuned for that video, it's coming up shortly. And today we're going to talk about the modern renaissance, which is, this is how it looks. So in case you actually don't know what I was planning in 2017, this is the chosen palette. I have bought it in 2016, about... November, well, November, August, September time and I have used it a bit before I actually started panning it so there will be some pictures at the end of the video as well so you can see the progress but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the palette now first of all I bought this from Sephora for I don't know how much but in uh, the UK it retails for about £43 you can get it from Beauty Bay and I would think Cool Beauty does them as well probably some other websites or stores so this is the packaging, it's velvety and then it has got the imprint on it with the logo as well. It gets dirty quite quickly. This is actually cleaned. This is clean. So um, yeah, <laughs> I don't mind really. And then on the inside we have a mirror and there was a brush there as well which I quite liked. It's not one of those dummy brushes but and this is the eyeshadows. I do apologize, the weather has been going in and out today, while well, the sun, the weather has been horrendous for the past few days. But this is how the palette looks, and there will be pictures at the end of the video as well as I said before. So I've used up four shades completely, Tempera, Vermeer, Buon Fresco and Primavera. And remember Tempera was a really nice beige color, uh, very much like vanilla, and Vermeer and Primavera were those uh, shimmery colors that you can use as a highlighter all over your eyelid. And then these two here, um, I not really use the Rose Sienna and Burn Orange, not my sort of colours unfortunately. But the rest of them I either hit pan on or expanded pan on, so I'm quite happy with this one. Especially since I have had eyeshadows in other projects. So really happy. It's part of the permanent collection, so that's why I've chose it. Um, it's my favourite palette, or <laughs> it's it's still a favourite, but the GVS Place Mini Masquerade is slowly taking over because that, those colours are a lot bolder and I have been loving bolder looks. This one, if you love ultraminal shades, if you uh, like warm tones, that sort of thing looks good at you, definitely worth having. The two eyeshadows, the Prim Vermeer and Primavera, if I got those as singles, thanks. I'll need to I'll need to look at um, Anastasia Beverly Hills' website to find out if they do do them in singles as well. Now, yeah, I'm very happy with how I've done with this one. There have been some sort of negative comments on Instagram on why the hell would I want to pan? So I do apologize. <laughs> that was a, why would I want to pan this completely? Well, I can get it again. I love it. I use it. I use it into my eyebrows. I use it as a blush sometimes as well. So I, I know, I know I like it and it was a project and I, it was a challenge for me. So that's why. <laughs> so yeah, that's the palette and the 2018 will be coming up soon. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.